Hey sippers, welcome to our show. While we're spilling, grab a cocktail and start sipping. Get ready to unwind with your girls. Thank you for joining us for Cocktails and Conversation with your girls. I'm your girl Shataz and these are my beautiful co-hosts. Hey sippers, it's your girl Primp and Papa. Hey sippers, it's your girl Miss Jones to you. Hey sippers, it's your girl Shay Marie. We're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram at Cocktails and Conversation. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tonight, we're discussing building your ideal man. We are also discussing the controversy surrounding Taylor Swift Billboard Music Award performance. Remember, we want you all to chime in, so leave your comments below. Rum punch is a must have to spice up any occasion. With the simple ingredients and light and refreshing taste, it's sure to be a hit. Tonight we're sipping strawberry rum punch. It is a mixture of strawberry rum, coconut rum, pineapple juice, and ginger ale. Tag us if you try this drink. So let's try this rum punch, strawberry rum punch. What do you think, Shataz? I love it, actually. It tastes really good. It's refreshing, and um, I love it. You taste the rum, the punch, pineapples, strawberries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you it's taste really it good. all. Good. Yeah, you can taste it all. And I feel like you like anything with coconut and pineapple. Because you like pina colada. Yes, <laughs> yes that's a So, bad. yeah, this is good, and I do taste the soda, too. You do? Yes, I do. I like it. I think everything mixed well together. Um, I really taste the coconut. I really taste the pineapple. I can't taste the strawberry that much, but I love it. Mine's um, is not tasty. It's not? It's not. It looks like it just was a whole bunch of pineapple juice and you threw soda on top. Is that what's in here? Yes, yeah, soda. That's pineapple exactly juice. what's... <laughs> that's what exactly... That's... <laughs> Well, I guess um, Prep likes her drink. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna get the strawberry, but we have paper straw. <laughs> so, um, yeah, blinds is okay, but it just tastes like pineapple juice and soda. It's, it's not really. Okay, sippers, we all have had our fantasies and ideas of what we wanted a man, right? So tonight we're going all the way out and living in fantasy land. Ladies, if you could build your ideal man, what would he be like? Okay, ladies, I like this topic because we get to live in fantasy land. So to start, my man has to be, my ideal man would be tall, dark, and handsome. He would be at least six feet tall. He would be a combination of Blair Underwood mm. and Denzel Washington, okay. young Denzel Washington. So he would be like that type of man. Um, a low haircut with waves or a bald head, um, nice tapered beard, everything nice, you know, freshly cut. Um, <laughs> Big hands, clean nails, clean and manicured nails. Did you want your old metrosexual? <laughs> yes, baby, yes. Clean and manicured nails. Um, he would wear, he would never wear sneakers, ever. He would wear nice shoes. What are nice shoes? the hard bottom like you know just the nice shoes mm -hmm. fitted pants you know um nice shirts sweaters whatever he would be great in bed he would be very sensual in bed you know in catering um he would be well endowed <laughs> okay that's yeah and he would 
his his job he would be an entrepreneur so he would be the boss he would be able to call the shots come and go as he pleases um and he would be a god-fearing man he would be a supportive man um as far as children he'll either have one child or no children um and yeah okay oh he would have a lot of money too <laughs> yeah yeah all right so building our ideal man so you all the sippers know and the ladies know mm -hmm. i am married mm -hmm. right so my ideal man i already have him good okay good um uh, blue collar mm -hmm. um blue collar guy uh one who's loving romantic but also is not going to let me push him around so he stands firm on what he says uh handsome uh, able to switch it up you know he wears jeans when it's appropriate mm -hmm. joggers when it's appropriate dresses up when it's appropriate funny open to trying new things whether it's in the bedroom uh, or even just trying new things that even though he doesn't like it to make me happy what else uh, nice waves goatee nice beard dark beard um, I like guys who have weight on them not necessarily big mm -hmm. um, just like my husband he has weight on him and um, that you're just not gonna like flunk him away mm -hmm. but he's also <laughs> not about to pat have a heart attack tomorrow mm -hmm. um, yeah that's me no, I'm good <laughs> I love this topic because it makes me so excited that I could build my own man yeah build head. a man so I'm gonna start off with his characteristics because that's most important I feel he has to be God-fearing, have faith like T.D. Jakes, and um, loyal, caring, loving, respectful, family-oriented. Um, what else? Don't um, looks looking looks wise. I want him to look like Ghost from Power, Amari Hardwick. Yes. But I want him to be 6'4". Oh. I'm 5'6", wow. and I'm kind of big. So, okay. mm -hmm. 6 6'4". Um, that same body type, though, as Amari Hardwick. Um, oh, he that man is so fine, y'all. Um, <laughs> so, what about hair? The same way, Omari okay. Harvard, all the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brush cut, the gold, the beard, the dark beard. Yeah, all that. And I like how, I like the character ghost, not because Omari Hardwick is married. So the character ghost, he married too, but he tricking. So. <laughs> oh, you're my No, no, him. okay, no, no. Well, he's just a we, character. Sis, we know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, so I like how he dresses. He's always in suits. He looked good in his suits, but he could dress it down sometimes. He was dressed down yes, sometimes. Yes, and still I good. like that. And I like that he's a boss. Mm -hmm. um, a millionaire. Mm -hmm. If we're going to just make it ideal and work my while. A millionaire, so I don't have to worry about nothing. Um, no kids. No mommy issues. No daddy issues. Um, a supporter. And good with, yeah, I already said, good with kids. A mentor. What so you don't want him to? Drive? Oh, oh yeah. What kind of car will he drive? Mm -hmm. It's a, it's this Mercedes Benz, but I don't know what kind. How, how does I think it, it, it has the colors inside where you can switch the colors inside of it. I think that's any Mercedes you can custom. How does no. the body look? Is it long? It's long, but that one especially, no, you can't switch the colors inside. I'm talking about the lights. While you're driving, there's lights around the car, inside the car, like it glows in the dark. Mm -hmm. So you could switch it. It's only one Benz that does that. And it's new, I think it's a C-Class, no, a, CLS no, 500? A, or a E. I have to look it up. I forget. So, um, you, you're done? And Oh yeah, I forgot. He has to be 
well, really well, good in bed. That's what I was just pleasing about to say. me. Mm -hmm. Very attentive to me. Does size matter? Yes. Okay. And to a certain extent. And he has to love food. Mm -hmm. he, you know, like this be able to go out to eat. Like, yes. Because if you want to be, I hate to see what you cook. Yeah, we could cook sometimes too, but I like the whole <laughs> thing going out, trying new food. I can't cook everything. So, what yeah. Kind of job? What was it, his job? Yeah. Oh, you said a boss. A, a boss, so. entrepreneur. Okay. Something clean. Like maybe real estate or something like that. Mm -hmm. Buildings, not just houses. Are you own? Commercials. Commercial. Mm -hmm. mm. God, mm. I hope you're listening. Yes, God. So let's hear this shit ass. Well, um, my ideal man would be average height, not too tall, not taller than six foot, um, well built. He's health conscious. He works out. Um, he's very handsome. Dark. I don't have a preference. Dark, light skinned. It doesn't matter. You he like has them nice all. hair. I like them all, honey. <laughs> as long as um, he knows his role as a man. He's good with me. He's a provider, a protector. Um, he's good in bed. Size does matter for me. Um, and he gives me attention. He's open. He's fun, loving. He has to have one or no kids. Um, and just someone I can see myself waking up to every day. And he's God-fearing. He stands for something. Um, he's intelligent. Mm -hmm. He's a hustler by nature. So his um, career doesn't matter to me if he's a CEO, if he's if he owns his own business, if he works, it doesn't matter. As long as he's a natural born, born hustler, he knows that his job is to provide. He's good with me. How does he dress? Oh, um, it doesn't matter. He can switch it up. It's, he can do casual, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I take whatever as long as he have he knows how to dress. What kind of haircut? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um low cut, nice hair. Does it? Okay. Yeah. So ladies, question. Mm -hmm. So now we've stated all these things. Mm -hmm. How realistic do you think these <laughs> No, I come on, we gotta be no, because I run into but we women. Dream, man. No, you gonna bust our butt. No, <laughs> right. we can dream, I, but I I want to say no because we got the sippers looking. We just want to say how I how realistic do you think these dreams are? Because some women, right, are single to this day because <laughs> they want him to have a big big well endowed. Let's be politically correct. Want be well endowed. You want him to be God-fearing. You want him to be a millionaire. You want him to be loving. You want him to be caring. You want him to have X, Y, Z. You, we want all these expectations. And some women are still single because they still seeking that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's just say out of all the things you ladies said, let's say you listed 20, 20 everybody listed 20 things each. Mm -hmm. He had five. Five. Right now, what would it be? The five? Top, oh, five. Oh, top five. Top oh. five. Oh. You only got five. Matter of fact, forget top five. You got three. Three? That's no. It. God said, I'm going to send you that ideal mate right now. Pick three. But with only three characteristics? Three right now. He's going to come. For go, me. Go shit ass. He has a relationship with God. Um, he's a natural born hustler. And... He's loving me right. There you go. So now, okay, I'm going to let everybody go. I'm going to let everybody go, and I'm going to say, go ahead. Remember okay. yours. For me, God-fearing, provider. Mm -hmm. He got to be good in bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mine is God-fearing, faithful, and um, a provider. Okay, so God sends you this man, and he got a little old shrimp. I'm going to <laughs> it's a shrimp. It's a it's a shrimp because you didn't say you didn't say well, he. I'm gonna be Some single. Are big. No, no, we <laughs> old shrimp. We ain't. just had hook. We just had hooks right now for lunch, and they was that shrimpy. No. And some people be out there with that. <laughs> no. 
for real. I had a shrimp. Okay. I was not satisfied. For Look real? at I, I stopped talking to shrimp. Yes, exactly. I dumped shrimp. <laughs> shrimp was made history. Me cry being single, shrimp it's just like history. people want you to, they make you feel like your standards are too no, high. No. We're, we're and just, then you have to settle. And they always bring that up. Where, what about if he got, he's not, okay? No, I'm <laughs> not. We're just saying, like, you know, I, I just want to, I just want to bring it to the viewers because honestly, at the end of the day, we're not going to always have everything in the book, yeah. right? But we can say for our demographic <laughs> of men, we don't really have to worry about that, right? Mm. What? Girl, <laughs> naked, <laughs> negative. <laughs> Shrimps too, girl. <laughs> shrimp was a black man, but that's okay. rare. Girl. That's rare. Shrimp was black and black. <laughs> oh, black mixed shit. with black. But that's rare, and especially if like Primp and Proper want a six four man. And let me tell you about shrimp. A shrimp had his thing together. Mm -hmm. He was a provider, his own place. I mean, he was getting money. Shrimp was a shrimp. But how tall was shrimp? Shrimp was short. Yeah, you well, no, usually the short guys. No, I don't know. Now, uh, yeah, short guys do work. They be mm -hmm. having something. Shrimp or shrimp, honey. And shrimp had it going Six, on. Four. I have if no I tell you, with that. If I tell you shrimp name, you're going to say yes or no. Not on the show, though. <laughs> Bye. No, I'm just playing. Oh, no. Y'all don't know shrimp. Okay. Yeah. I'm done. So, no, honestly, you guys, I just want to say this. You know, at the end of the day, uh, your perception is your reality, but I want us to also be realistic. It's yes. not all the time we're going to definitely find these. So, of course. But I'm not being realistic. I don't. Do what, when I say that, I'm saying to you, um, I'm saying to you mm -hmm. that although you don't have all 20 of those things in a man, you never know by him being with you, mm -hmm. the three can turn into 17. Because think about it, he yeah. could not be a dresser. Mm -hmm. He gets with you now. His dress code oh, has yeah. improved. Yeah. yeah, he could not have a relationship and be God fearing mm -hmm. to the capacity that you want him to be, and he see the God in you, and boom, he changes. Yeah. But I just say that because a lot of women are under this. They, they have unrealistic expectations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we want to be real. We want to be right. open to let them know that even though he may not have everything on this list, right, it doesn't automatically disqualify Qual him. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And we have to understand that every person bring out something different in an yes. individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what he didn't do for you, he may do for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He Very may see true. how you dress and want to step up his mm -hmm. dress code mm -hmm. and say, okay, she dresses like this. I've been there. And the Billboard Music Awards show recently wrapped, and it did not end without controversy. The Beehive has been coming for Miss Taylor Swift for copying Beyonce's homecoming drumline performance. Watch Taylor's intro. Does it remind you of Beyonce's recent homecoming performance? Okay, so I um, watched the intro of Taylor Swift's performance, and to me, it did look a lot like Beyonce's Coachella performance. Because um, if you look at Beyonce's performance, the same walk, the same like walking down the runway with your drum line on the side of you, you know, that, that was the exact same intro. And I'm glad that there's controversy and people calling it out because it shows that this is a different age in this country and, you know, people nowadays are not just, you know, letting anything fly. I applaud the Beehive for calling out Taylor Swift because, you know, with the history of this country and the cultural appropriating of, you know, certain people you know, appropriating other cultures. 
I think that it's important that anytime something like this is done that is called out, especially since you have, um, you know, certain things that that's predominantly in the black culture that makes up the black culture, everybody else will consider it ghetto until a white person or some other person brings it to the mainstream and then now all of a sudden they're winning awards for it you know they originated the fashion or the trend when really it's something that's been going on in the black culture for decades so i really applaud the beehive for calling her out um when i did see the the actual um performance it automatically made me think about Imitation is the most sincerest form of flattery. Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel as if, although Taylor's, I wonder, did she acknowledge the fact that she was, you know, she didn't? No, and that's also the, another issue. Okay, I thought she at least acknowledged it. If she would have acknowledged it, I would have said, eh, whatever. You know, it's Beyonce, the beehive. I'm not part mm -hmm. of the beehive. But, you know, I do respect Beyonce as a um, performer and an artist. She, she puts on a great show. So if, if Taylor Swift would, would have acknowledged it, I would have said, well, you know what? She was just paying homage to a star, right? Mm -hmm. But if she didn't, um, I don't know. It happens all the time. You know what it made me think about? Girls twerking. You know, mm -hmm. it's been in the black community for ages, Forever. right? Yeah. <laughs> um, it was known as being degrading, ghetto, nasty, but when Miley Cyrus did it, mm -hmm. oh, there was an uproar. Like, mm -hmm. she just created this whole new mm -hmm. trend. And it's mm -hmm. like, honey, we've been doing this. Like, mm -hmm. what was the, um, what was uh, Juvenile? We've yeah, taken it back to the 99, 2000. <laughs> but not even that, the Doodle Brown. Remember that? The Uncle yeah. Luke. Luke. Uncle there you Luke. go, Uncle okay. Luke. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, we've been doing this. And, you know, I felt as if it was not until Miley Cyrus did it, it just became this, oh, everyone knows how to twerk. It's on mm -hmm. Ellen DeGeneres. It's mm -hmm. on all these daytime talk shows. And it's like this big thing. It's like, mm -hmm. honey, we've been doing this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I feel the same way. I did watch the video. And I'm like, this does look just like Beyonce's performance. Everything. She didn't even switch it up. The only thing she switched up was the all-white marching band. Because mm -hmm. Beyonce had an all-black marching band. And um, I just feel like... It's not the first time it's been done. Arena Grande did it to two chains. So they always do that to us, and we, we don't get recognition, but they get the awards. They get the more money. They get the, um, the endorsements. Um, like wearing color hair. When black people do it, uh, it's ghetto. Oh, my gosh, why do you have all the pink hair, this and that? But as soon as a white person do it, it's punkish, it's stylish, it's this, it's that, it's fashion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but soon because i remember when i when i was like a teenager i worked at a retirement home and they said we couldn't wear color hair but that's the time when nikki came out i had like my pink strips it was a, a black um wig but it had like pink strips in the black in the back mm -hmm. only one pink strip you know he sent me home my manager mm -hmm. that same day he sent me home a white girl came in and she had blue hair her whole head I said, that's not her natural hair color. Mm -hmm. He didn't say nothing to me because his argument was, that's not your natural hair color. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's a part of their handbook, but it's just like when a white person changes their hair color, whether it be brunette, blonde, if they're not legally blonde, that's not their natural hair color. So if you're going to send me home from not having my natural hair color, do it, have the same treatment for everyone. Because mm -hmm. when, when the wigs came out, the colorful wigs, it wasn't popular until... Um, Kylie Jenner started doing it. And it's just like, sis, you starting to look like us, but, and I feel like the problem is that they probably don't give us credit, but nobody's going to ever do that. They ne never going to, they want to make it seem like they created something. They created the wave. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, because that's the big problem that we don't, that they don't acknowledge us, that we inspired the look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully one day they will start acknowledging that the African Americans created a lot of the things that they're doing. Um, I didn't see the Beyonce Coachella performance, but I'm pretty sure Taylor Swift copied it. Um, 
sad, but um, I would appreciate if she would have acknowledged the fact that, you know, Beyonce did it first, but she didn't. Who cares? But you know who I am proud of? Little Next. Tapping into the rock and roll yes. and it's rocking they behinds. They hate it right now. Yes, I know African Americans started rock and roll. Is that what you're about to yeah. say? What is, oh, I thought it was the country guy. Yeah, country, country music, whatever. But in the Billboard, that same award show, he was up for an award. Yeah. They took him out of the country. No. And you know, it, I seen a post on Twitter that said, oh, y'all took him out of the country. Um, selection but wasn't like, he top number one last but week they had justin bieber and r&b sis and we but um well i'm happy that he's doing that and k michelle is also getting into the country music yeah. so hopefully she blows up she makes it big and she can set a record for black african americans yes. you know because it makes no sense that they're taking all of our ideals and we're not getting credit for it hopefully we can start doing that to them and we'll see how the tables turned in. Who knows? I have a question. What do you think America would be without us? Girl. Exactly. Vanilla ice cream. Yes. <laughs> I like vanilla. Nothing. Because if you think about it, you know, I was reading something about how, you know, there was this thing about how a lot of people believe the first car was actually invented by a black person. And I can kind of believe that because you know, during slavery time and the times in America where black people didn't have much, if your job is hard, like we're always figuring out ways to make our job easier, <laughs> you know? Yes. And in so many instances, there have been times where a black person created something, but during that time we had no rights. So who gets the credit? Your owner, you know what I'm saying? So. I feel like that's why it's important every time an instance like this happened, it's important for um, black people to call it out because this is not just, oh, they're still in our style, they're still in this, but this affects, this affects like families and finances because if you think about black people in this country, we started from negative. The reason why they have family homes and all of this stuff is because they're basically, they basically have stolen property. You know what I'm saying? So that's how their family started off with wealth. Whereas black families, we have to start from negative, you know? We start from the trenches. Mm -hmm. What were you saying before? Um, I thought that was pretty cool regarding... Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I know what you're saying. Okay, so there's this um, Christian this popular Christian Christian artist, he's on TVN and all these networks. His name is Pat Boone. But um, in the past, he, he was a singer and artist, and he covered all of Little Richard's hits. So what happened is Little Richard, you know, would go in the studio and make the records. And the record company, because of segregation laws, you know, people didn't want their white kids listening to black musicians, even though the black musician song was the hit. But the record companies would make a white artist like Pat Boone cover the song to make it appropriate for the white kids to listen to. Although the white kids would purchase Little Richard's albums and hide them in their drawers or whatever and listen to them without their parents knowing. But what happened is, they would pay the black artist like a flat fee for the song, but yet give the rights of the song to the white artist. And to this day, today, Pat Boone is still making royalties off of Little Richard's music that he wrote. Wow. Still making royalties. So his family is um, set. His family is set. All the while, Little Richard had to fight just to even you know, own his catalog, to get his catalog back, and to um, get back pay from, you know, the record labels and stuff. So appropriation, it really can affect black people. And so it should be called out on every instance. Well, we would love to keep the peace spelling, but unfortunately we're running out of time. But you can keep the conversation going by leaving your comments below and on Facebook and Instagram at Cocktails and Conversations.
Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media. See you Wednesday night at 8 p.m. for cocktails and conversations with your girls. Good night.